How's it going guys? I'm Cyrus and welcome to the darkness. Today we're actually going to have a conversation about something that's kind of near and dear to me as a teacher, as a content creator, as things that we're doing in our community. And I just want to talk about being a person who's ready to take that next step. Before we get into that, guys, make sure you do check out the server. The links are in all of the kind of, kind of social media links that are attached to this podcast, as well as go ahead and check me out on YouTube, on Twitch, on Twitter. Everything is slash Dark and Cyrus. Let's get into it. So let's talk about what something is, is really important to me as a person who is ready to improve and give people an opportunity to grow their craft, to build their community. And I'm going to tell you what it's based upon. Tonight, I actually joined in on a stream by a fellow streamer that's in our community that in Angry Scott. I'm going to give him a shout out. And I just sat there and just watched his stream for about an hour or so, left it up in the background. And I just really took in the moment of when he came to me and asked me a bunch of questions when he was starting to get into streaming and he was so passionate and ready to go and he's constantly learning. And I'm really excited to see where his channel is going. I'm so super proud of what he's doing and his growth, not only on his YouTube, but on his Twitch. By the way, go check his stuff out. I'll attach it also on this podcast, but I want to use him as an example. He was a person that had nothing. He started from nothing. He didn't have a community. He had friends. He had people who he played with, and now he's growing so much. He's got over 200 subscribers on YouTube, around 260, and almost 200 followers on Twitch when he started with zero. And what I want to use him as an example for is to not say, you know, congratulations to him only, but actually to say he was a person who took the step took the initiative, failed so many times trying to get things, asked for help, figured out his mistakes, and he is making fantastic content. And so many of you that are going to listen to this podcast are probably people who are one of two things. You're either a person who found our channel because you're a part of our community and you're maybe a content creator or you're a content consumer or person that actually just watches that content, enjoys maybe what we put up. And what I want to say to you is if you're on the fence, should I start content creation? Should I get into the idea of filling the world with the thoughts and the ideas that I have? Focusing on gaming, on making up on whatever topic you choose. What I have to tell you is nothing is holding you back except yourself. Take that first step, back up, figure out what you want to do, make a game plan, and just start. So many people get bogged down in the simple idea of hitting record and all of the requirements that come into the idea of hitting record that they don't ever actually hit record. They think that they have to have the best microphone. They think that they have to have the best computer, the the best setup, the best everything, lighting, whatever the case. Maybe if I have all of this equipment, it will make everything production value be higher and I'll be able to make this. And then you make that investment and you spend so much money investing into something that you're still afraid to hit the record button, to hit the go live button. And I think the biggest problem when people kind of give up early on is they get overwhelmed by the thought of just going live, uploading, posting things, trying to go public, and not getting the reaction that they feel they deserve rather than the reaction that they have at that moment. So people who start out, there's there's a couple of ways to see it. You can either see it as, I'm investing my time right now knowing that I'm either A, not going to get a lot of views, B, I'm going to get a lot of views and maybe not a lot of engagement, or C, I'm going to pop off instantly and it's going to go somewhere. And that's not true for everyone. And this isn't like putting you in a bubble. But the other side of that is, you might be a person who, the if you're not just going to see it as an investment, you're going to see it as the downside of it. I'm going to put something up and I want immediate results. And that mentality completely shuts down what a content tr- creator is trying to do. And if we if we just understand what makes people bring themselves to content and to latch onto someone, then we start to understand how we can improve ourselves and understand that introspective look to understand where we're going with our content and to make that slow kind of growth happen and understand and feel the process and know that, yeah, it might take months, weeks, years. It might take forever. It might take no time for you to get to that point where you start to see some growth that's actually kind of propelling your channels in a direction. But until you get to that point, what you don't need to think is, man, I'm a failure. 
Take every opportunity that you can and see it as a place where you can learn. If you didn't make a good thumbnail, you know, and you think that that's what hurts your views, work on your thumbnail on the next video. Maybe go work on fixing that one at another time, but don't hold it up from making more content. If you focus so much on the perfection right now for each piece of, of like content you create, that's just like not hitting the record button. So make sure you just take the plunge. Somebody might find your video. It might go viral. Viral. Who knows? You might find out the wonderful thing that makes viral content viral and you don't even know you did it. And you'll pop, put, put something up and it just go viral and you have no idea how to recreate that. Well, continuing to recreate content and figure out what these platforms want is how you're going to get there. What I'm really trying to say is this, and I guess I'll sum it up this way. Don't let your dream be held up by the thoughts of others. Focus on what you're trying to create as your brand, as who you are, your personality, your talents, and focus on those individual things so that you can see positive growth on your channel and you can be proud of that for not being someone who you're not. So you're enjoying the process, you're understanding what you're doing you're not trying to, to to fake it or to push something you're not trying to get some artificial growth so that you can feel some kind of level of I don't know uh, validation so don't don't push yourself into a situation where you you need those numbers those analytics just as much as I say that analytics are important because it teaches you how to grow but don't focus so much on the analytics and the numbers that you'd forget why you're doing what you're doing are you doing it for the numbers or are you doing it to create content. Sure. The ultimate goal of content creation for most people is to be monetized, make a full-time career, be like all of these people who we see in the content creation world. We're able to sit at home and do absolutely nothing. What we feel, they do absolutely nothing. I don't think that's the case. People who are content creators spend countless hours pouring over things to post a 10-minute video, and what you think is a 10-minute investment into that video probably was hours and hours of planning, weeks of understanding, the idea to form the conversations, how to make this happen. And that understanding isn't had until you start to have to make that investment yourself. And I think that's where I'll wrap this kind of podcast up for today. I wanted to make something real quick. It was just on my mind. I wanted to get it out there to you and let you just kind of let that soak in a little bit. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into this podcast. Do make sure you check out our social medias, jump in the Discord. And uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Thank you so much. I'm Cyrus and welcome to the darkness. We'll catch you in the next podcast.